Naveed is, is, is a story of, of, of many things, really. It's a story, first of all, initially, of um, a boy and his struggles. Um, here he is, this boy, he's been brought up, he's, he's uh, 14 years old, he's struggling to make sense of the world around him, he's been brought up in war, he's struggling to make sense of that. Much more than that, he's got to live on a daily basis. He's, he's got to feed his mother, he's got to find food for his mother and his sister, he's got to find rent money. Part of his struggle is to make sure that he leaves a legacy that his father would be proud of. He's the man of the house now, Naveed. He's the, he's the one who has to carry all the burdens. It's also um, a story about the power of family. Um, in many ways, um, the, it's a story of the love between Naveed and his mother and his little sister. And Naveed, Naveed's father says to him at one stage, family is everything. And Naveed believes that, it's, it, and he, it's so important to him. He'll do anything for his family. Um, it's also the story of the power of friendship, the friendship between Naveed and Jake, the young Australian soldier, be between Naveed and Fariad, the young truck driver who's quite a comedian, um, and uh, the friendship between Naveed and, and a stray dog that he finds. It's, these are, are very important forces within the story. Um, and it's, it's also a story of courage, because every day Naveed has to stand up and go and do things that are really, normally, we, most of us would, would find terrifying. Many years ago, um, I did travel to Afghanistan. I spent about a year travelling through that whole area, through Pakistan, um, uh, Afghanistan, Iran, um, into Turkey, and then back again. Um, all up, I, I think I spent about a month and a half in Afghanistan. And then some years later, I came back and came down through Russia um, and again uh, to the border of Afghanistan and just left with indel indelible images about that place. And, um, and you know, I've, ever since then, I've just kept up an interest in the country. I've read about, um, about the, the culture and the wars and, uh, and the many, many wars. Um, Afghanistan's such an incredible, an incredibly complicated weaving of, of cultures and peoples and, tri and tribes and tribal groups and alliances and even religions. Um, and, and so that aspect really fascinates me. Um, it, it's also, the geography is incredible. I mean, it, you just are stunned by the, the fierceness and the beauty of the Hindu Kush, um, the, the incredible plains, the, like the Shamali Plains, um, uh, the beautiful, um, fertile, beautiful, fertile plains, uh, areas that, are for, um, that, uh, that grow so much of the, uh, of the food in the area. And then the deserts, I mean, the searing deserts, they're just, it's such a powerful country. And then there's the history of the place. That's, I, I've always been fascinated by the history of Afghanistan. The, the fact that it's been the crossroads of so many powers. Um, and, you know, Alexander the Great, the Romans, the Parthians, uh, uh, the Mongols, the, uh, the British, you know, the Russians and the Americans. And all these powers have passed through. But no one's ever really conquered Afghanistan. And that's what's amazing about the place. To me, it's the plaything of big powers but the big powers have often been lost there and you can see it all, I mean, it happened to the Russians, more recently of course, it's happened to the British and then to the Russians and now it looks as though it's happening to the Americans and that they're, they're going to have to go out with the tail between their legs and it's, it's, it's an amazing, um, to me it's an amazing country, an amazing story in itself um, and to have that as the background to, to my little personal story about a little boy and his family um, is great. Um, I actually think I had no choice with Naveed. Naveed's one of those stories. There, there are, I mean, I've written quite a few books and there are some books, some stories that you really have no choice about. Some of those stories come to you uh, and they don't come to you absolutely finished by any means but you know they're in there and until you get them out and onto the page in some form, no, maybe not the finished form, but in some form, they just don't leave you alone. I like to write stories, I like to take characters and um, just ordinary small people, like Naveed, he's just a little guy, um, but I like to then, and he's got all his problems in life and all that sort of thing, but what I like to do in a story is take characters like that 
and place them on a big canvas. Um, you know, like in the big bushfires of Victoria, there I place that little boy that's in that story. Um, and, uh, and as with Naveed, I, you know, I'm putting him in on, on the canvas of probably the biggest canvas of all, uh, that of war. But the other side of it is I think that there are some characters that you just can't leave alone, and Naveed was certainly one of those. But for me, this book has more than just one character that I couldn't, yeah, uh, that, that I, uh, I couldn't get away from. There's Naveed, there's Fariad, the young truck driver. I just really, really like him. Um, of course, there's Mr. Amade, again, a man that you would meet in the street and you wouldn't even notice him. And yet, um, he, he's got such strength of character. Naveed's mother, again, um, she's not as strongly drawn as I'd like to have drawn her because I didn't want to take too much away from Naveed himself, but she's a very powerful woman. Um, powerful in the sense that she's brave enough to stand up uh, to, to the demands of many of the Taliban. And of course the strongest, other strongest character in the book um, is, is, um, is Anusha. Um, Naveed's little sister and uh, those two are really p important to each other and of course then there's Jake the young Australian um, disposal bomb disposal expert um, so um, the, what I had was all these characters that were really in my head and giving me a lot of trouble I had to have a story for them which I did I had this story and it was a matter of putting those together and, and making it work and I hope it does that I, I think at the, at the end of the day you should come away with when you read a book is that it's a good story, that you know, you're, you're caught by the story. That, that is really important. I remember it being said to me, I, I think the very first book I ever wrote I, I gave to an editor and um, I won't mention them, but they, they just said to me, it has to be a good yarn. You know, before anything else, you know, you have to enjoy the story. The reader has to enjoy the story. They have to like the characters or they have to feel for the characters in some way. Um, they have to believe the characters. They have to be able to see them and they have to want to follow their story right through. I hope that that's what readers will do with Naveed because I really, really have enjoyed writing and, and have been engrossed by writing his story and his sister's story and his mother's story, but also the story of this incredible war. So I hope that's what the readers come, come away with at the end as well.